Dolphins fans, what's going on? Ben Morgan, Fins Up Network. So I'm, I'm sure by now you've, you've heard all about it. You're probably tired of hearing about it. A lot of talk following the scouting combine, a lot of talk leading up to free agency here regarding the Miami Dolphins, regarding Tua, regarding the quarterback situation in general, as it relates to Tua and guys like Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, et cetera, et cetera. No, I've I've sort of I've sort of strategically stayed away from this conversation until today because I wanted to gather honestly as much information as possible from people that I trust with connections to the organization. And to be quite honest with you, the the person that I got in my ear about this has never let me down. All the information has come to fruition. If you've been paying attention in the past, I was led into Zach Thomas getting that Hall of Fame induction stuff probably on Tuesday when they made the announcement on Saturday. Before that, the Vic Fangio news. Check the timestamp when that original report came out, AFC, NFC Championship weekend. As soon as it was verified by Tom Pelissero, you're going to see a Fins Up Network video. So like I said, I'm not trying to out here be patting my back. I'm just trying to give this a little bit of legs. By no means, please hear me out. I'm not attempting to be clickbait. If you think that's the case, I absolutely urge you to look back through the catalog of Fins Up Network videos. Try to find clickbait videos. You are not going to find one. I, I'm typically, I give opinions. I react to Dolphins news. This time of the year, I talk about free agents, NFL draft prospects, stuff like that. It's, it's not your drama-filled clickbait stuff. But for today's video, the purposes of today's video, I've got information. It is credible information. Now, whether you want to take that, use it, believe it, that's completely up to you. I don't care one way or another, but I'm here to share what I have as actual truths behind the Miami Dolphins quarterback situation for this offseason. Because we all know it. There's people out there, the, the, the clickbaiters. I mean, look at the NBC crew, the Florio Sims crew. They know if they talk about Tua, if they talk about any other quarterback as it relates to the Miami Dolphins, they know Dolphins fans are flocking to that news. They're clicking on it. It's driving ratings. 100% that's a fact. I will concede to that for sure. But now you've also got guys like earlier this week, Rich Eisen, they're not out there trying to stir the pot. A guy like that simply was trying to provide news that he heard during the combine. And now he's just getting absolutely dumped on by a lot of Dolphins fans on social media. And as we'll discuss later in this video, it really isn't warranted. We'll get to that. So let's, let's start things off with in my opinion, the best news. And quite honestly, the news that makes me the happiest. The Dolphins are indeed, they're not lying. They are 100% all in on Tua Tungo-Vailoa as the team's starting quarterback in 2023. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Now, whether or not they exercise that fifth-year option by the upcoming deadline, that's a different story. And yes, there are multiple people in the Dolphins' front office that don't want to go down that road because of that injury history. But even if they don't exercise that fifth-year option, it doesn't mean that they're not committed to Tua for this year or potentially even for the foreseeable fit, uh, future. Now, that whole fifth-year option, that could legit be a video in itself. I will definitely be talking about that when it happens. So we're going to save the remainder of that conversation for another day. Let's get on to the recent quarterback discussion news. So I'm going to make this clear again. We're all in on Tua. And trust me, I want to say this too. That is a Chris Greer, Mike McDaniel decision. They have went to bat for him. They are committed to him throughout this offseason. They truly believe he's the man for the job and he can get that done. They went to bat for him this offseason to be the team's starting quarterback in 2023. But now here's where things get interesting. Because while the Dolphins are committed to Tua, other quarterbacks are indeed interested in this position, in the Miami Dolphins starting quarterback job. Well, I should say in some cases, they at least were interested in that job. So, so far this offseason, you've got Tom Brady, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Derek Carr. Those are the ones that I'm in the loop on. Either them or their agents, their people have reached out to either Chris Greer or Stephen Ross, or maybe a combination of both expressing interest in making it happen to be the quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. And on top of that, this is where Rich Eisen comes in. Phillip Rivers, despite what he is saying now, after that Rich Eisen report, did indeed reach out to the Miami Dolphins to see if they were interested 
in his services at quarterback. So no, Rich Eisen wasn't trying to get clickbait. He wasn't just trying to throw out noise. That's not Rich Eisen. He's a proven dude. He's not out here trying to get clickbait at this point in his career. So he got some, some credible piece of information that he was given and he shared it with people. So if you've been one of them that have been on Chris, or uh, I should say Rich Eisen's back, let's give him a little break for now. So of those I mentioned, all those quarterbacks I mentioned earlier, Aaron Rodgers, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Derek Carr, they all sort of fall into the same category. They are, or in, in some cases, were free agents that were interested in making it work to be the Dolphins' starting quarterback. However, by this time, I mean, Miami's already committed to Tua. They tell these guys, hey, thanks, but no thanks. And now we're going to see each one of those guys with different teams that are not the Miami Dolphins in 2023. It is as simple as that. However, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, that's where things get a touch more interesting. And the reasons they, that they get a little bit more interesting has a lot to do with Dolphins owner Stephen Ross because it's no secret that Stephen Ross loves Lamar Jackson. Stephen Ross wanted the Miami Dolphins to draft Lamar Jackson, uh, however many years ago that was. Now I forgot the year in that draft, but he let Chris Greer be the general manager. Let him do his job. He takes Minka Fitzpatrick. We all know what happens from there, but he let Chris Greer make that pick. But he absolutely wanted Lamar Jackson. But I feel pretty damn safe in saying that if the salary cap wasn't a thing in the NFL, and if the Miami Dolphins had more draft capital, Lamar Jackson would be Stephen Ross's probably 1A or 1B at quarterback. That's no stretch of the imagination. It probably shouldn't be all that hard to believe that as well. Stephen Ross loves Lamar Jackson. So no, Lamar Jackson to Miami is not going to happen this offseason. And honestly, if, if Tua balls out in 2023 and he gets that extension that the Dolphins do want to give to him, Lamar Jackson to Miami probably never will happen. But you know what? That rumor, that buzz isn't going to die because Lamar Jackson absolutely wants to be in Miami. And on a side note, Stephen Ross wouldn't really mind if it happened. But like I said, Chris Greer, Mike McDaniel, they've got Tua's back. They want Tua to be the guy. So let's talk about Tom Brady. And, and honestly, this topic could also be its own video. I'm going to attempt to condense things as much as possible for you, though. And remember, as much as I, I want to just make this clear, this is not me speculating. Nothing that I have said is like my personal opinion on this. My personal opinion is I want to, uh, I absolutely want to, uh, to be the team starter in 23, 24, 25, the next 10 years. That's exactly what I want. But what I'm saying today is not personal opinion. Trusted source, like I said, that has not steered me wrong. And, and the funny part about this information that we're talking about is, honestly, there's a good chance none of it ever comes out and we never have to worry about it and we never have to worry about it even coming to fruition. And it, it's probably never going to be like, oh, Ben was Ben was lying and now we have this proof. And it's probably never going to be the opposite either. It's never going to be, oh, shit, remember what Ben said? He was right all along. It's probably never going to come to that. But it's information that I have. It's information I want to share to those that are watching today. So like I said, take it, leave it. I've tried to I've tried to cover myself enough here. Like I said, I'm not trying to be clickbait guy. I'm just trying to give information. So let's talk about Tom Brady. Let's wrap this up with Tom Brady. We all know it. Him and Stephen Ross are tight. We all know that. And Tom Brady has told Stephen Ross that, hey, I'm here if you need me. And what does that mean? That means if Tua has another significant injury, going to miss significant time or a season, hey, I am here. I'm going to stay in shape. I'm not taking the TV gig in 2023. I am here if you need me. So no, the Miami Dolphins are not actively pursuing Tom Brady, and he's not coming out of retirement if Tua, for the Dolphins anyways, if Tua stays healthy. Let's get that out there. But that door for Tom Brady to return if Tua does get hurt is definitely not closed. And Tom Brady has gone out of his way to tell Stephen Ross and the Dolphins that and to make them well aware of that. So don't think that a Tom Brady tweet about how he adopted a kitten for his daughter. Don't think that that slams the door on a potential return. But like I said, Tom Brady is not part of the 2023 plans for the Miami Dolphins. At best, he is an injury contingency plan. If something were to happen to Tua, that's it. And it essentially ends right there. And I shouldn't say it ends right there because there are some there's some crazy Tom Brady related stuff from even last season and earlier this offseason. But like I said, I am definitely not going there 
today. So like I, like I said in regards to this video, take it, leave it. I promise I'm not trying to feed you bullshit. That is not my game. That's not why I'm here. That's 100% not my style when it comes to these videos. Those that are regulars, 100% know that. So like I said, hopefully this just all remains kind of background noise, a non-story. But when I have some intel like this, damn it, I, it's what I'm here. I'm here to give it to you. So there it was. And honestly, the best part about all this is Tua knows that these players and their people, meaning like their agents and stuff, they, he knows. The front office has been open with them. Like, hey, these guys want the job. So it's not like the front office is even hiding this from Tua at this part. They're saying, hey, it's a coveted job, but guess what? You're our guy. You are our quarterback. Let's go out there and ball again like we did uh, in the beginning of the 2022 season. And that's got to be that's got to be great. That's got to be an actually reassuring thing for Tua to hear. And man, is, is he got to be just motivated as well. After every single thing that he has been through, now knowing that quarterbacks, high price quarterbacks, veteran quarterbacks, former MVP quarterbacks are coming to Miami and saying, hey, I want to be that your team's quarterback. And Chris Greer and Steven Ross and Mike McDaniel are saying, no, we're good. We're rolling with Tua. That has got to be awesome for Tua. That's got to be motivating for Tua. This team loves Tua Tungvaluwa. Don't get it twisted. You already know that they, they delayed putting him in concussion protocol to protect him from himself. They want, they honestly want what's best with him at his, this point in time with his health. But that's, I'm kind of getting into that fifth year conversation now with the extension. So I'm going to cut it right there for the sake of time. But like I said, I, I hope we were able to answer a couple of questions today. Um, at the very least, like I said, not trying to start crazy shit, just trying to lay out the information that I have regarding the Miami Dolphins quarterback situation. So we'll cut it right there, Dolphins fans. we got free agency next week. It's going to be a hell of a time. But until then, Miami Dolphins fans, fins up.